it's possible there's no case cold enough for intrepid detective Nancy Drew, who's now 90 years young. And it's no mystery why Faith Saley is among her many fans. In the fall of 2019, a shrewd band of sleuths, fans of America's most famous girl detective, descended upon Savannah, Georgia. Are you ready? There was a scavenger hunt, which made folks ask, oh, wait, what about this thing? What would Nancy do? And a glamorous cocktail party. She taught me kind of, you know, that it's okay to like ask questions and be a yeah. strong woman. Like I think she was a really good role model for that. But to fans like Austin Stanley. She's almost like a, a cool aunt. Every time you pick up a book, she's always doing something completely different. It's no mystery why Nancy Drew still resonates almost a century after she was first published. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. She's locked unconscious a lot, locked in rooms. People try to, to kill her, essentially. But Nancy Drew will not die. And this year, she celebrated her 90th birthday. 90 years of twists and turns, 600 books worth, some published by Simon & Schuster, a Viacom CBS company, along with movies. And I want you to promise that you'll keep out of it. All right, Dad. I promise. Video games. It looks like the painting is missing. And TV shows, like this one on The CW, co-owned by Viacom CBS. It's no wonder that Kennedy McMahon, who plays the new Nancy Drew, approached the role with trepidation. It's very nerve-wracking. It's like, I just have to trust whatever my instincts are because I know who this character is for myself because I've grown up with her. I think about all the girls for the past 90 years growing up looking at these covers and what they were inspired to become. Yes. Yes, I mean, so many different women. We have police detectives, we have lawyers, we have doctors. Jen Fisher is the president of the Nancy Drew Sleuths, a fan club. She says Nancy has always been ahead of her time. Very sophisticated for an 18 year old. You know, that was what was so appealing, I think, because Nancy would often best the local police force and solve cases they couldn't solve. The girl gumshoe breezed into print in 1930. She was the creation of children's publishing magnate Edward Stratemeyer, who then, plot twist, passed away days after the first books were published. So who then, you might wonder, is Carolyn Keene? There have been numerous ghostwriters, men and women, over the years that have written under that pseudonym. Fisher says there were ghostwriters, and then there was Mildred Benson. Millie was a real-life Nancy Drew. She was 24 when she wrote the first Nancy Drew book. Benson wrote 23 of the first 30 books. So Mildred's Nancy was very similar to Mildred, kind of out there in the world, a little more rough and tumble than uh, the later Nancy. The later Nancy? That's right, you just heard a clue that your great-grandmother's Nancy was not the Nancy of the 50s and 60s and 70s. That later Nancy Drew was the work of the daughter of Edward Stratemeyer, Harriet Adams, who treated Nancy like family. Harriet felt like she was a daughter and was very protective of the character. And she had a list of things that Nancy would never do, right? Yes. She would not speed, mm -hmm. kiss. Very little kissing, definitely not getting married. <laughs> so it was something of a shock to longtime fans that the opening scene of the CW's Nancy Drew began like this. Sorry, I uh, never do this. Today's Nancy Drew is distinctly modern, but to McMahon, her appeal is timeless. There's something about mystery and a really all-consuming story that A, is a really nice escape for people and is just pure entertainment. And that is a beautiful, wonderful, important thing, especially in times when, when things are rocky in, in society for whatever reason. 
And so it turns out that the secret of the 90-year-old Nancy is that Nancy never gets old.